don't be shy to speak of what you believe. In your fasting, in your prayers, in your belief in God, your ideas of not to have like a boy or girlfriend in the way that the Western people have, to be drunk, you have ideas, you have belief. You do this thing and sometimes we feel like we are shy to do this thing. Is it right? Yeah. And sometimes when the other guys of the, of the uni or the world <coughs> ask us, why don't come with us? We feel like, oh, I'm so busy, sorry for that, I can't come. Why don't speak of what you believe? Is it right what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry, Angie. No, no, sorry. Um, we were talking about this yesterday, actually. Um, and we said that it gets better as we, we... We felt that it got better as we got older. Because when you're young, so when you're at school, you're trying to fit in. So, you know, if, if you give anything... If you say anything that makes you different from the rest, because you want to be normal, you want to be like all the other children. So, you, want to so, you, so you, you know, if they ask you, um, as we were talking yesterday, you know, what are you doing on Sunday? Oh, I'm hanging out with friends, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm staying with family. We don't say that we're doing something different. But I think as we get older, because we formed our identity, we know who we are as people, yeah. um, it gets easier. I don't know, what do other people think? Because you've already fought, like you've got your identity. It doesn't depend on whether you fit in or not anymore. You've got your own. People person. are more mature when they're older, and so they're more understanding of other yeah. people, a different way of life to, to them. So mm. university. I think now you're old enough. Sorry. You are old enough. We're all of you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you're at school, they'll mock you, and they yeah. don't understand it. But when you're older and at work, it doesn't matter. People, no, but I'm saying that now it gets it's easier, a lot easier. So we're more open with it now because people are actually intrigued by our difference. Yeah. Whereas when you're at school, they think your indifference is seen as something strange. to laugh about, something strange to laugh about, but mm. because, like Neda said, that everyone's mature. I don't think it gets easier, I think it's more difficult. Really? Do you think about I it think before? I think we, I think we, 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 we were discussing yesterday. yesterday and we were saying like... We spoke about like, a lot of things yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Personally as well, we were saying it's easier if you just set your, your like, level when you're going <coughs> somewhere. Mm. Like, for example, I was saying yesterday for myself, I know at school at first I was a bit sort of shy and embarrassed to talk about you know my spiritual life and that I go to church on Sunday whereas when I got to uni I realized I don't want to make those same mistakes so I went in straight away and from the first you know I didn't walk in and be like hi I go to church on Sunday but you know straight, <laughs> straight away you you like, mark, yeah right? exactly I, I was open about things straight away so I didn't need to then you know hide things later because at school you, you were like oh no no yeah I'm seeing friends at the weekend or whatever but then it comes to like Easter and Holy Weekend you have to say I'm going to church and your friends are like oh you've never mentioned that before yeah. so it's easier when you just set that level because then everyone just automatically knows that's how you are but mm -hmm. like me and Sally were saying at, like at work that because we've done that now when they all go out they respect that we don't and we're not seen as less or we don't, we're not left out of any sort of atmosphere because of that but they just know from the beginning that's what you know um like morals yeah sorry can i just say something about what vivian mentioned about, about, what? about what vivian said about why you can't speak about your experience yeah, yeah. i think um so obviously the people saying that the true deep experiences that you have that are personal to you are so holy that it, you you can't utter you can't um, there are no words to describe how holy and beautiful the experiences you have with God, but that's not to say anyone who experiences anything with God can't speak about it. The whole Bible is written by people who had experiences with God and talked about it, and God's given this Bible for us as a tool to talk to other people about and with, and you can talk to them using things that God has given you to talk about. But I think the Pope was saying that anyone, who, when you have a truly intimate moment that's personal to you, for example, Enoch lived with God his whole life, all his experiences were personal to him. The 40 days after the resurrection were close, intimate times for the apostles, for them, to teach them, to make them grow. So all this stuff is, is personal and it's extremely holy experiences that they have. So that's why it's too holy to talk about. But there are plenty of other resources that you can use to talk to people about God with, and God has provided us with these resources to use. Hence the Pope's book, for example, as one. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, the Pope's obviously had very holy experiences, but he's talking to others to teach others about how to attain these similar experiences. He doesn't tell you about his personal experiences, but he teaches us how to attain them and what the beauty of them is. Yes, and I think... Well, I don't think you have to tell them about your experiences. They should... They should see Christ just in the way that you are and the way that you act. If they see you as always being happy, as always being calm, as always being kind, 
they will eventually, and then you start talking to someone, a Christian or that, they start to clock that you're like that because you're a Christian and because of your relationship from God. And that's what the relationship gives you. You don't necessarily have to actually physically say, he did this for me, he did that for me. It should just be evident in the way you're living your life. Um, the Prophet Moses spent 40 days with the Lord on Mount Sinai without... <laughs> Quite in his book. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, no, it's just because... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look, wait, that's why he just said that, he just made that point. No, no, but he says... I need not to that. The next he says, no, without say speaking well of what the Lord had said to him, without telling how deep their association had been. But, even in, like, Exodus, it says, Moses was talking with the Lord as if he was having a conversation face to face. So, like, it's like knowing the degree of the extent of, like, sh like... It's for our benefit to know he was so close with God that I was like speaking with him face to face. But like the Pope says, without telling how deep their association had been. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mark. Uh, I'll tell you something, guys. Uh, we are not going to like have the Bible in our hands and preach everywhere. It's for some people who is called by God. And may, may one of you be like this. <coughs> At the same time, some people preaching about God as Fadi said, not, on, not only by speaking, by acting, by deeds, by words. And it's a story about one guy, he went to, uh, I think, Arab country, and he started to preach in the name of Christ there. So they put him in a prison and forbid him to speak about this name again. And when he go out, he didn't speak, but his acts attract everybody around. The most of this country become Christian. So they bring, brought him again and asked him, did you speak about this name again? He said, no, I didn't. But by his deeds, his actions, his works, his relations, his dealings with others, most of the country become Christians. But I'm speak about that when somebody asks you about anything that you believe, why don't show him your belief? Not like go deep in your spiritual life with God. Just, I believe in God, I believe in the Bible, I believe that Jesus Christ was born, I believe that he's crucified, resurrected from the death. Why would be shy about to speak about this? And at the same time, we have a lot of things in our hearts that move us to speak about it. Not like to convince the other guy to speak about it, whom, whom we are speaking with. We are not like, uh, try to bring him back, and, and if he don't, we go angry. No. But to speak our heart, because all of the guys around you are speaking their hearts. Are they? Yeah. But only us who, who are always shy about to speak of what we, we believe. And sometimes we feel like mm, they will say about us we are crazy. <laughs> this is right. And it's written in one of the verses about San Bo that said in, in Arabic is, is <laughs> 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 If we were crazy, say <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> if we were crazy, it's for God. <laughs> and if we are wise, then it's for you. <laughs> so, when we like tell others that we are, we are wise like themselves, they expect that we are wise and we are okay, normal persons. But when we said our belief, they think that we are crazy. It's not like the same meaning of crazy. I don't remember exactly the meaning in English. But they will feel that. But we have to say what we believe. In, in Timothy, 2 Timothy 4.2, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all the long suffering and teaching. It's not for Timothy only. Always when we're reading the, reading the Bible, we have to understand that this is the words of God to us. So we are not like reading a situation between Paul and Timothy, and that's it. They are happy, and Timothy was a nice guy. No, it's God speak to us now, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. We have to speak about what we have, we believe. All of you, if we like, expect that all of us now are shy to speak about what we believe. And we have lots of, of, of Christian guys in London, Croydon, everywhere. And all of them are shy. If we all, like, make our heart loudly to speak of what we believe, they will know that there are some guys who don't believe in God, and there are nice guys who believe in God.
to the point very quick, and uh, that's it, yeah, it's the end of my talk. It's first my relationship with God, and it is not through. Okay. It's not through talking. Practically. Practically. <coughs> Second thing, both God instead of you in every situation, and remember always that you are ambassador <laughs> for Christ. Andrew will, will say again the first one. Remem remember it, my relationship with God, and it's not through talking. One of you, uh, Monica, put God instead of you before doing anything, and remember always that you are ambassador for Christ. Mary, do everything in the church. This is the belonging for the Coptic, the Orthodox, spiritually. Forget all the, the things that you do, like by automatic way you do it in, when you get in the church and do everything spiritually and remember that not of the letter but of the spirit the letter kills but the spirit gives life Sally, don't act like or showing others that you are a spiritual guy and in that time we uh, uh, mentioned the elder son in the prodigal son parable Michael, don't be shy to speak of what you believe but all you believe and we uh, remember Second Timothy 4 2 was preached the word be ready in season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long sufferings and teaching. So the first one, uh, Nader. <laughs> Andrew, <thank> No. <laughs> <laughs> um, my relationship with God should be through actions and not just words. Yeah. Mary? Mariam. Um to be an ambassador of Christ. Yeah, put God before you put God first before you and do everything. So be an ambassador of God. Peter. The Orthodox Church. Uh, do everything spiritually. Uh, is it like uh, worshipping, uh, kissing icons, etc. It needs to be done so spiritually and not just actions. Yeah. And Miriam, we remind in that verse that we are. The third one, no, the second one. Uh, is it 2 Corinthians 5 17? Oh, you're really better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what this verse, one word that we are? <laughs> yeah, good if I did. Okay, the, uh, we got three now. Mm. The fourth, the NG. Don't be shy about what you do, so don't be shy about admitting that you are a Christian and that you go to church. That was that was Don't show people yeah. that you are a spiritual person by actions. What we remind from the Bible by this? Uh, what we mentioned from the Bible? The elder son. Oh yeah. The elder son. Mar Mariana. Um the the preach. <laughs> Very good. <Yeah. laughs> what the verse we mentioned? <laughs> <laughs> like if you can remember any of it. The first. Um, <coughs> I want Timothy, Mary, continue. Oh, okay, that's what you better than me as well. Preach the word in the first. Convince. Convince, rebuke, um, exhort. Convince. With long sufferings. And teaching. <coughs> and glory be to God forever and ever. I mean. Now prepare your questions, questions. and I will ask the one about the drum and we have a question. Can we say them? Do we have to?